Hello lovebirds, welcome back to my channel. Um, I figured it's been New Year's Eve, it's been Christmas, we've probably been eating really really bad, uh, partying a lot, so why not do a skin tutorial in which I show you how I spot conceal all my blemishes that my lovely plain right gave me. So let's get into it. First up I'm going to start off with skincare. Um, at the moment I'm using the Defense line by Polish Choice and I'm using the Pore Purifier Antioxidant um, Serum, I believe, and it unclogs your pores, it helps with evening out the skin tone and clearing skin of damaging environmental stressors. Uh, there's also salicylic acid in it, so it keeps any of my new blemishes a little bit more demuted. So let's get this one into the skin first. Now, you always want to follow a um, serum like this, especially if there's salicylic acid in it, with a SPF, even in winter time, because if any of your blemishes catch any sun, they might stay coloured for a little bit longer than when you use an SPF. So I'm using the Essential Glow Moisturiser with a broad spectrum SPF of 30. Now, at first, when you apply this, it might look a little bit whitish, and that is obviously because there's SPF in it, um, but it will clear out once you really work it into the skin. Now one of the things I really really love about this moisturiser is that it already gives you a really nice glow. I'm going to accentuate that with a highlighter, so I am mixing two of the Danessa Myricks Illuminating Veils in Synergy and Serenity. I'm going to use a tiny pump of this, a tiny pump of that one. Rub them together in my palms and just press them into the high points of the face. So the concealer I'm going to be using for this is the Urban Decay All Night Concealer because I do want something that is highly pigmented um, but I do want it to blend into the skin really really nicely. I'm going to mix the two because I'm always somewhere in between and not as light as the fair neutral and not as dark as the light neutral. Um, so I pop a little dot on my hand. I try to find my complexion, which is usually mostly fair neutral, with a dash of light neutral in there. These are some of my worst blemishes. I got onto a flight with really cold air conditioning, so I'm gonna apply a little bit of concealer on there first. Usually for everything concealer work, I use my Cosette S165. Um, this is a Real Techniques, does it have a number? Instapop crease brush. I figured because of the shape, it would be really, really nice as something to buff in my concealer with and it's quite tiny. Now, some areas need more concealing than others, like, for example, the blemishes need a little bit more concealer, and then I buff it out around the edges, whilst other areas just have a little bit of redness, and then I just lightly want to touch them and blend it out with my fingers. All right, nose ridges. We don't want to look sick, ill. And one of the things I really love to do with my concealer, because we're going to go outside anyways, um, is touch the tip of the nose a little bit, because the tip of the nose tends to get red in cold, so I give the tip of the nose a little touch up before moving on. And these were really, really bad. Always press it into the skin because the pressure is going to make it stay in place a lot longer. Now, 
if you do have an open blemish, something that has just been popped and there still might be something in there, you might want to tip the pimple with a Q-tip instead of a brush because you might infect other areas or spread bacteria over your face and that's something you really don't want. All right, now that I've covered every single pimple I have on my face, it is time to shape the rest a little bit. So I want to get rid of the under eye bags without putting on a lot of makeup. All right, my S165 brush, which is my favorite to polish the skin. So I'm gonna go in with the same two colors of concealer, adding a little bit more warmth to it, and just paint. I know it sounds weird, but it is kind of like painting what I'm doing. So I just polish up gently whatever needs polishing up. And this concealer goes a very, very long way with just the tiniest amount. Especially for my under eye area, I like to work in very, very thin layers. Just dab it in wherever it needs. A little bit more. I always like to do the um, corner of the mouth to make it look a little bit more fresh. So that makes one heck of a difference. Uh, I'm gonna go in with a second layer later on because I have to let it sink in. I have to let it oxidize because this concealer does tend to go a little bit darker when it dries up. So I'm going to go over to the other side of the face and then be right back with you. Alright, now that the first layer of the concealer underneath the eyes has settled down a little bit, I'm going to go in with a really, really thin layer wherever I need a little bit lightening, a little bit of brightening, I'm gonna go in with the Fair Neutral to just lift it up from the skin to make it appear more forward by applying a lighter color. Right, I'm gonna go in with a cream bronzer to make sure that the face doesn't look flat and pancakey. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit with a larger buffing brush, distribute the product by rubbing it over the mirror, and just swiping on in very, very light, light strokes. Just get a little bit of colour back in the face. Doesn't have to be a contour either. Just to make sure we look alive. Now, one of your best friends when you're doing a very natural skin is highlight and a cream blush. So I'm just gonna look for my clap paint, see where I left that, and a highlighter. I'm going to use Dusk by Glossier to do a little bit of blush and it is more peachy toned. I might have to add a little bit of pink to this. So I'm also going to use a little bit of puff cloud paint and mix those two together which is really nice about these creamy pigments. You can mix anything together until you get your desired color. And then just gently apply that to your cheeks. And the cloud paints are quite gentle, so you can go in there very easily. It blends out really, really nicely. You don't even need a beautiful 
beauty blender or anything to get this to work seamlessly. Now, if you feel you've gone into the under eye area a little bit too much, you go back in with that N165 because there's probably still products on there and just connect and blend. Alright, I don't like my blush to just be on my cheeks, so I usually take in the temples as well. Now, for the areas where you have applied concealer because there are pimples underneath there, you might want to be a little bit more cautious. Um, but if you work very lightly and dab in the specific places where it needs a dabbing instead of sweeping, you'll be just fine. Uh, last step is a little bit of highlight. Now, I'm going to do the highlight in two steps because highlight is your best friend when you're doing a natural skin look. So I'm going in with Givenchy Shimmer Powder in Shimmery Pink. And I'm going to go in with the Givenchy Tain Couture Radiant Drop. You want to work with creams and liquids first onto powders. So I'm going to use the Givenchy Radiant Drops first. Alright, buff those in nice and gently. Fingers are just fine for this. Now that gives a very, very nice layer of oily sheen and then I'm gonna grab a tinier highlight brush oh, let me just grab this one because it's clean take a little bit of that shimmer powder in shimmery pink and top it off where you want a little extra oomph Pulls along, but try to avoid any of the pimples. And I'm gonna do the moving part of the lid as well. A tiny bit on the brow bone. All right, there you have it. Now, the last step, obviously, is a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna grab one that is always foolproof, and I'm gonna grab the Laura Mercier Universal, the Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I believe they have this in several shades. And just dab wherever it needs setting you don't want to metify everything. Especially those areas where we have covered up the pimples. And a little bit on the forehead, because it might be a little bit too shiny. There you have it. This is my spot concealing natural skin tutorial. Um, to finish everything off, I usually go in with a setting, powder, a setting spray. Uh, this one by Wiser Beauty, and it has hyaluronic acid in it. And I just cover up a tiny portion of my face, especially the eye area, and give those cheekbone bones an extra spritz. So let that glow all melt together. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.